こんにちは。Hello, everybody. It's time for Japan Channel. This is our first video. My name is Masa. I'm living in Japan, traveling the places and making these videos, arts, and music to release the hope, love, joy, and freedom to the nations. So please leave some comments and subscribe to our channel. I hope you will enjoy the video. This is one of the most famous places in Japan. It's me right here holding GoPro. We are walking in the bamboo forest. As you know, sometimes my English is funny, but I'll try my best.、Uh, this road is about 400 meters long and all surrounded by bamboo like this. So that's what's called bamboo forest. This is the bamboo forest. You see on the internet. There you go. We are surrounded thousands of bamboos. And feels so cool, not hot. The shade this bamboo makes、uh, temperature down and feels very good. Let's walk a little more. Summer in Kyoto is very hot. So, even in Edo period, people try to feel cooler by watching golden fish using Japanese fan, or they put sudare, its screens made from bamboo trees, and they make shade. There you go! This is the ancient Japanese car called Jin Rikisha, and the word rickshaw actually came from this one. The origin of this place is around 800. Uh, one guy came back from China with bamboo tree. But nobody knows the real story now. Let's walk a little more and we will get the main spot of this forest. Look at this bamboo forest. The bamboo forest. This was in the summertime, but if you go there in December, they light up all. Bamboo forest, so it's very good time to visit in the winter too. And this is the, exactly the spot people see on the internet. Look how cool this place is. Let's feel the air and hear the sound of bamboo tree. There is a very old Japanese book of p o e m called Hyakuni Ishu. One guy selected 100 poems and he put them together. And many of them wrote p o e m about this area in Kyoto. And maybe I should make one too. Now, this is the main street of Arashiyama. You can find Japanese restaurant or souvenir place, and you can find very cool Japanese stuff there. Here comes the coolest Japanese car, maybe it's Toyota. 1000 man power engine. It's Kyoto Crepe. This place is Japanese soba noodle restaurant next to the bridge and the river. It's a very good location to eat and visit those places. I'll show them later. And actually, there w a s many people were waiting in the line, so I think this restaurant is pretty famous. And it has a very cool Japanese garden. Look at this. This view from inside of the restaurant. In the Japanese restaurant, they usually serve Japanese tea first. 
and this is what soba looks like. You dip the noodle into the sauce. The sauce tastes like a little bit sweet Japanese soy sauce and usually comes with tempura. It was really good and the view was awesome. I'll put some link later. So this place is also a very well known tourist spot in Arashiyama area. This is Oikawa River. I wish I can swim. I'm in Kyoto Togetsu Bridge by the river. This place is called Arashiyama area in Kyoto. Look, it's very beautiful river and very old Japanese traditional houses. Let's walk on the bridge now and look at this. This bridge was built in 800 but still exists like this. The mountain will be covered with snow in the winter time, but the springtime it's gonna be colorful rainbow color and they lights up in the night. Arashiyama has very cool traditional Japanese places, but also they have modern hipster spot. I think there's some kind of Japanese gelato champion. Look at these, looks so good. I recommend matcha gelato, of course. My favorite food is mochi, so I had to try this. One of the best mochi place by, by the river is this. Mochi is very Japanese traditional sweets made from rice cake. I ordered this one. Got this mochi dango. Looks awesome. This one's the basic one called mitarashi dango. Try that one first. What I was surprised was they have cool hipster coffee shop. So get your coffee and favorite Japanese sweets and sit by the river. This one is called Kazaguruma. In Heian period, kids were playing with this windmill shaped toy. Many of the shops here has these Japanese traditional designs of wallet, towel and many kinds of items. Now we are at Arashiyama station. Even the station looks like very Japanese. Look at these stores. Let's go inside and there's a very cool spot next to the station. We were in the bamboo forest, but now it's kimono forest. There are about 600 of kimono pole, all surrounded this area. Kimono has many kinds of designs and styles. This one is called Kyo Yuzen. Kyo Yuzen is one of the most famous kimono design, started in Edo period, and they are known for fancy bright designs. At night time, all the kimono pole lights up like this and very beautiful. Japan is very beautiful country, hoping freedom over Japan. Thank you for watching. Please leave some comments and subscribe to our channel. Much more fun videos to come. Sayonara, see you next time. It's time for Japan, from Japan to the nations.